If you really want to change your mind and start adopting new behaviors, I'm going to tell you exactly what I did when I woke up this morning. And this is pretty accurate to my practice every single morning. First thing I did was I woke up and I did not check my phone. So that's the first thing you need to stop doing. Stop waking up and checking your phone right away because that sends you into familiar and that sends you into anxiety and it just, it basically just reaffirms immediately who you are. And who you are is not really who you are. If you're watching this video, then you want to change your life. You want something new out of your life than what you've been getting. So I start with not going to my phone but I go brush my teeth. But what I've been doing lately is I've been brushing my teeth with my opposite hand because doing something unfamiliar breaks you right out of the autonomous mind right away. So it, it, it stops that automatic programming. It's gonna feel uncomfortable, of course. It's not, it's not actually easy to brush your teeth with the opposite hand, it feels weird. And you feel like you don't get your teeth that clean maybe, but irregardless, there's a purpose it helps to rewire new neural pathways. And it's basically like giving your brain a challenge right away in the morning. And again, the number one thing is that it breaks, it breaks the cycle of the, the autonomic system that's running. Then I look in the mirror and I look dead in the mirror, right straight in my own eyes. And I said, I love you. I love you. I love you. 10 times, followed by a couple, I'm worthy, you're enough. And I followed that up with basically who I was gonna be today. I am a content creator. I am going to make a video. I am going to edit a video. I am going to go through next week's content creation. I am gonna go run and operate a wedding. Those kinds of things, well, for videography. Then, I drank about eight ounces of water to hydrate because hydrating is sorry if you can't tell I'm on a very busy street and so when these big ass trucks come by it gets so loud but <clears throat> then yes hydrating hydrating is gonna be I mean you could probably do that right away in the morning but I just did it in this these are the exact steps I took but hydration is, I mean, you just fasted for six to eight hours and water is everything. I mean, I, I don't really have to say a whole lot there, I think so, but definitely slam about eight ounces to 12 ounces of water. And then from there, what I did was I did deep diaphragmatic breathing, just really obnoxious breathing. I went outside and I'm uh, 25 to 30 reps, three rounds, right? And this, this is what it looks like. It's just 25 rounds, or 20, yeah, 25 breaths, two to three rounds. And if you do this, and you start doing this every single day for 21 days, you're not gonna recognize parts of your life anymore. And you are going to start rewiring in new neural pathways and that's how you make changes and you can do that with everything if there's a behavior that you want to replace with another behavior start choosing that behavior but you have to choose it repetitively over and over and over again if you really want any change to make to be made in your mind neural pathways the, you know the brain now science has shown that it's malleable you can change your brain you do not have to be who you think you are and that's all this video is about i just wanted to share my morning with you and let you know that that is how i'm starting my mornings right now and i feel phenomenal and the reason for the breaths obviously is because then what it does is it sets your entire day up to activate your parasympathetic nervous system and just calm your body so you don't start off with your day thinking of all the shit you have to do maybe or of all the things you didn't do yesterday or the anxiety of making that phone call or the anxiety of no one liking your photo or the anxiety of whatever it is. We're living in a world where we are losing ourselves to 
these little devices in our hands. And it's not good. It's not good at all. And anxiety, I don't even know what the statistic is, but it's unprecedented. It's so high right now in our society. And so that breathing, I think, if there is two things <clears throat> that you could do out of all of this, it would be get your water and do your breathing. Get your water and do your breathing. If that's all you got time for. And if you don't have time for getting the water, do your breathing. Activate your parasympathetic nervous system. So I think I'm just gonna start sharing what I'm doing in my life. That is how I started my morning. Then I met with my business partner. My business partner and I went over some website development stuff. We're finalizing some of our subscription pricing and just how we're gonna offer what it is we're choosing to sell. Then I went over some of the supplements with my aunt as well because she's gonna be using them. So uh, lion's mane mushrooms, collagen, things of that nature. And for men, we are breaking into the hair loss as well because I struggled with that for a long time because of the steroid use that I chose to indulge in um, for many reasons. You know, I it was just me hiding the, the little version of myself in some way, shape, or form, but more of that in a new video. Today, I'm just letting you know kind of how I'm living my life and what I'm doing. So one of the other really, really important things is my water, my water. I do not like to drink faucet water. So what I did some time ago was I found an artesian natural well around your city, wherever you are in the world, start looking for access to people's like wells and artesian wells and things of that nature. You'll be surprised what you can find. So I found one a while ago. This was well over probably two years now. I haven't been drinking faucet water. I drink that water. And I'm gonna take you on that journey with me because I actually have to go fill up my jugs. So I'll show you exactly what that looks like and exactly how I get my water because I don't believe that the water we drink from the faucet is good for us. And so I made the choice. I took action. That was in alignment with who I want to be because I believe water is probably the most important thing that we can get. I mean, you can literally water fast pretty much forever. So that's if that doesn't tell you how important water is, I don't know what else will. But right now I'm going to head to the gym. I'm not going to take you in there with me on my workout. I may, you know, someday if that's something that you're interested in, you can let me know in the comments. But not going to today, I'm, but I'm letting you know that I am going to the gym right now. I will let you know here what, what uh, my stats are for the workout today. We'll see how hard I hit it. Then after that, I'm going to go get my water. And I'll take you on the journey to where I go and get my water. And I actually have to travel about 50 minutes away from where I reside to go and get that water. But it's worth it to me. And it's only 25 cents a gallon. 25 cents a freaking gallon for water that actually has nourishing properties because it's filtered through mother gaia it's filtered through the earth so i'll take you on the journey for that then i will kind of just let you know what i'm doing for the rest of my evening got a lot of work to do got a lot of content to create i'm actually talking with another individual right now who's going to probably be taking over the edits on my uh my reels for my instagram so i'm just meeting with people and doing what it takes you know taking the action every single day so appreciate you being here and i will i'm making a multitude of different videos and then i'm gonna obviously stitch them together so anyways appreciate you being here today is all about the lifestyle it's all about the actions it's all about what i'm feeling how i'm feeling and right now i feel great i feel excited that excitement is what's drawing me to the next thing right that's how you know you're in alignment and there's some times where you're not going to really feel super excited about something but there should be some kind of underlying excitement when you know that it's what you really want in your life but you got to follow that excitement and, and get hyped about it i mean i'm not excited to go to the gym because it hurts and you know it's never actually really i don't know how to explain it but for the mind for the body man there's nothing like it it is a true medicine. So we are off to the gym. 
All right, 376 calories, 537 total for an hour and 24 minutes. I don't know why it turned off here. Give me a second. All right, so 103 beats per minute. I did not have a very good workout, but I always say a workout is better than no workout. Now, it took me a long time to get here because I made a bunch of content. So I made a ton of videos. A lot of that, too, I was, I just wasn't focused, but... It's okay because I got it in and I'll probably end up going for a little bit of a jog later on just to kind of boost some of those numbers. So we just hit the gym. Now I am going to fill up my agua, my wata. I'm going to go and take you on that journey. So I got about an hour drive. It's actually about 50 minutes. I'm going to go get the jugs and load up and then we'll go get the water. And then when I get to my watering spot, I will continue to add to the video. I appreciate you. We are on the way to get the aqua. And I wrote this song so long ago. It's actually such a good song. Ooh. Wipe away your tears. I used to think loving somebody meant that you love someone else. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put, see this? I don't know if you can see that. That's 15 quarters, right? Because it's a quarter a gallon. It's a quarter a gallon as it, as it shows right here. So I'm gonna get my quarters in there. Now, 15 gallons of water, okay? That's what I'm getting. I used to buy artesian water in the store. It was, uh, I, I think it was like Waiakea or Fiji as well. And it costed me like, I don't even know, because I bought so much of it, like $20, $30 per, and it's not, there's processing, you know, there is processing. There is no processing here. The processing is into my bottle from the source. And that's why I chose to come here and to get my source of water from this place, because it matters to me. And I know that it matters because the value that I put on it is my time. I drive 55 minutes is actually the, the distance. So I drive about an hour each way. That's two hours out of my life that I will never get back. Those 15 quarters, I'll get those back. But my time, I will never get back. And that is the value that I place on the quality of the water that I'm willing to put in my body because I believe in the power of our overall health and what it means. So that's why I choose this source of water. So now I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my water. You don't really need to watch me doing that, but I'll do a little quick, I don't know, know what, but I'll just, I'll show you the source again here. So, obviously, I mean, you can taste the literal difference of this water and it's being pushed up through earth naturally and just running out. You can't beat this, the quality of this water. So, like I said, there is no time in life. Actually, I didn't say this, but there is no time in life. Time is an illusion. You make time for the things that matter to you. And the things that you spend your time on should be of utmost value. So stop wasting your time with people Stop wasting your time with anything and everyone because that's the most valuable asset you have. It's your time. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fill my, fill my water up now. And uh, I don't know what, I don't know. And then I got another 60-minute drive back home. Absolute favorite part is filling up my personal water bottle. Fresh as can be. Mm. Oh, 
That is the best water that I've done ever tasted in my life. So good. And this is how I can drink a gallon or a gallon and a half a day. Because there is something about this water. It's smoother. It has a certain taste. And no other water compares. I've even tried drinking some of the most expensive water that I could find. And it doesn't compare. There's always some kind of process. I don't really believe that the food industry by any means has our best interest. They've been putting profits over our health for as long as probably anyone can remember. Probably, I mean, as long longer than I've been alive. So this is my water source. So good, so, so good. One more for the road here. Fill it back up. I have no idea if you can see any of this, but all right, I love you, peace. So behind me is the gym. I was gonna go for a jog, but it started raining. So I'm just gonna actually go on the treadmill and treadmill, the treadmill and get a little bit more cardio in. Then I'm gonna go back and I'm actually gonna put this video together and I'm gonna finalize it. I'm gonna get it ready to go out for tomorrow. All right, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that outdoor jog anyways, get, get a little nature in. I'm just kidding. Let me clip this back on here. The reason I did that is because there's so much fake shit online. So many fake people. I could have made a video making it look like I was out here jogging. I ain't jogging. But I did do 20 minutes on the treadmill. I went 6.1 miles on the treadmill. And the reason I'm even making this video right now, I wanted to get out in nature. I wanted to surround myself with beautiful mother Gaia and I I cuz cuz I'm in a I'm in a headspace I'm just gonna be open and honest with you you know I'm I was feeling high vibe and now I'm feeling low cuz that's just life ebbs and flow and I'm I know what I'm thinking about and I'm not really gonna talk about that cuz it's very personal but I still am taking the actions I'm still gonna make this video I'm still gonna go get myself some food but there's a difference between raising your vibrational frequency and then matching the frequency of the thing that you want in life. So let me try to explain this to you. My frequency right now, it's low. I'll be honest with you. I have a low, low vibrational frequency right now. I can maybe even sense that through the screen. It's not as high as it was before I was jamming out my car. I was having a blast, dude. I got my water. And then I started thinking of some things, you know, that I maybe just haven't fully dealt with and you have to feel the emotions but you can't allow those emotions to stop you so one thing for me is getting out in nature and that's how I can you know kind of let go of those things and it's true man we're all we're all sad sometimes and we all get down sometimes and feeling those lower vibrational frequencies it does lower your vibrational frequency you need to look at it like this let's say you get in the car and you turn on the radio, but the volume's low because you're feeling sad, right? And you want to feel happy. So you turn that volume up. Now it's loud. Now it can be heard. That's like your energetic frequency. That's kind of what it means to like raise and lower your energetic frequency. But to match the wave in the infinite potential, right? You have to match the frequency of that thing, which means you have to act as if. When you're in the car and the volume's low, that infinite potential wave that you're trying to match the frequency of, it can't really hear you, right? It can't really see your energetic vibrational frequency. But when you're in a high vibe or you turn the volume up, it might be like, oh, I can hear that so sound off in the distance. Where is it? Let me try and find it. So matching the frequency is acting as if now. If you want wealth, you have to act as a wealthy person. Take care of your health. You know, your health is your wealth. Let me explain something to you in the, about how rich you truly are. You're already rich. Because what if something costed $1 billion? Right? Or let's say you had $1 billion. And you got sick and you were going to die. But they found a cure and it costed $1 billion. You would spend that billion dollars. So that you don't die. Because your life 
is your wealth. That's your riches. Your riches is being alive. It's always a great day when you get to take a breath. And so just kind of remember that. But yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to take a little nature walk. I think I'm, I'm good now. And I wanted to kind of let you in on that little fact that you're going to feel you know, low sometimes. You're going to feel down sometimes. Now I'm going to go grab myself something to eat. I don't have a lot of time left in my day, so I'm not going to make something to eat. But I'm going to go out to a little diner and probably get myself some eggs, maybe some, uh, like a Reuben. They, they have this Reuben uh, Eggs Benedict there. It is to die for. It is so good. So I think that's what I'm going to get. Haven't really eaten a whole lot today except for some beef jerky and some nuts on the way to get my water. And I pretty much kind of fasted all day today because that's kind of another thing. I don't we're, I don't think we're meant to eat constantly all the time. You know, I mean, to each their own. Just listen to your body. But for me, I don't need to eat all the time. I have way more energy when I'm not constantly bogging my body down with food. And I eat more the more active I am. But if I'm not active in the day, I pretty much won't eat because there's no reason to I mean sure we have a basic metabolic rate where you know we on average burn about 2,000 calories just for living but so what let me just burn off those calories for living then you know what I mean all right I'm gonna go eat and uh, might take you in to that little place for a second just so you could see that egg that Benedict oh so good then I think I'm pretty much done. I'm going to go edit this video and calm down. Oh, look at that. Look at nature's finest. Look at that. So calm. Let's see how close we can get. I don't know how close we'll be able to get before it walks away. But Oh, sees me. Oh, there's another one. There they are. There they go. Okay, so, anyways, appreciate you being here. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. And like I said, I just wanted to share with you that, you know, you're never gonna have this happiness that you're looking for. Happiness it's fleeting it, it doesn't you 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 just you, there is no such thing as just constantly being happy it's just knowing what your emotions are understanding them and then knowing yourself enough to recognize what you need to do to kind of manage those emotions because i was feeling really down dude i was like this video's dumb i'm not even gonna put it out it's stupid no one gives a shit about me and i don't care i don't care there's there's so much more to this reality than what we realize. And like you, I'm a spiritual being having a temporary human existence. And this is what I want to do. So I'm doing it. All right. I'll see you. I'll see you at the Benedicts. Dude, the looks that I get for having my little tripod and my phone just in public places is hilarious. But that's part of just not giving a shit. This is just who I am. So it is what it is. Oh yeah, also, just to prove to you, you can bring your water in. I don't know, people get all weird about that too. Because they did bring me this, I didn't ask for it. But I just filled this bad boy up with my water. So I'm gonna choose my water. Not the faucet water. Because you always have a choice. You just make excuses if you're not choosing what it is you truly want. I don't know, maybe it's you're ashamed or you're embarrassed of what people are going to think or whatever. But once you realize that everything is just kind of happening because it's happening and nothing really matters, that doesn't mean you have to get to a place of uh, psychosis, right? Where you just completely disconnect from reality or nihilism because, you know, it, it, it does matter. But life's not that serious. And most of the time, people's reactions to their own emotions are their own shit. It has nothing to do with you. So 
if anyone else is feeling some kind of way, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm not bothering no one. I'm just bringing you in on my journey for the day. And this is just kind of a chill day. My, not every day is like this for me, but today was just kind of one of those days that was just being, right? Like just being, I don't know. All I can do is the best that I can do. And everything I tried to do today was take as much of alignment as I could towards the things I want. And the biggest thing that I could do is create a bunch of content today. So I was not only creating this video, I was also creating other bits of content throughout the day, as well as communicating with people on what content I was creating, talking with my business partner and those kinds of things as well. So, all right. I will wait for the Benedicts to get here. I'll kind of give you a little bit of view of that. And that's, that's, that's how I'm gonna end this video. I'm gonna end this video with my meal and then I'm gonna go home, edit this video, make the thumbnail and put it out for tomorrow. And uh, that's all I got. So I appreciate you. Peace, love, and namaste. Mm. There is my Rubens Benedict. I did break it open, look at that. Ooh. And I had some fruit instead of the potato. And then I did have some cream of California soup. And then I also got some smelt, but it's not here yet. And this is pretty much all I'm gonna eat all day, except for the beef jerky that I had and the, the cashews. And that's pretty much it. And you know what? That works for me. So I listen to my body. My body says, yep, that's good enough for me, pal. So this is the, I have never seen smelt look like this. Now inside it's fish. Usually it's lightly breaded. This is like a ton of batter. So I had maybe two pieces and this is a no for me. This is a no for me. All right, so to conclude the video here, today I just, I was just being, and hopefully I said something in this video that made sense to you. Hopefully maybe it triggered something, maybe it planted a seed. Maybe there was some kind of value that you got out of it. Maybe it just simply let you see what it looks like to just be. I have huge dreams and I have major things that I'm working towards, but you just gotta be. You know, you can't control anything. You can only take actions little by little towards it. Remind yourself who you wanna be. Fuel your body in the ways that you know how. Manage the reactions to your emotions. Don't let your emotions stop you from taking the actions towards the things you want. And really, now I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna finish this video upload it get it ready to go out tomorrow then i'm gonna meditate i'm gonna shower and i'm off to bed so tomorrow we get to do it all over again and remember this you're here to create just like i created this video but more than that you are here to share your creations and it's important to make sure that the intention behind the creations that you make are to serve other. Because when it's ego-driven and when it's I, 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 it's never good, man. It's just never good. And no matter where you end up with that mindset, you'll always feel empty, you'll always feel lonely, and you'll never feel fulfilled. So, thank you for being here. See you in the next one.